Okay, as promised, I'm going to do uh, an extensive review on the Masarium CL01 LED light. And uh, let's start with the basics. So the lighting, I have it plugged up there, just the way my desk is set up. Um, it's quite interesting. Let me just uh, start from the actual glass unit. So as I mentioned in my other video, it's pretty thick. So I'd say it's about five millimeters thick of glass. The quality is very, very good. So you're expected to pay an arm and a leg for this, but uh, I gotta say it's uh, it's quite worth it. Put it on my uh, <clears throat> my desk for now, and I need to get a, a stand for it. Now, I was looking on Amazon to try to see if I can find a circular cork, maybe a cork board type um, stand, but uh, I can't find one, so I'll probably check out Walmart, see if they have it. It's nine inches in diameter, so if you ever want to get one, just keep in mind from here to there, the circumference uh, measures exactly nine inches, so keep that in mind. So for the actual assembly, I haven't done it yet. Uh, truth of the matter is, uh, this is still quite a bit of materials I need. I bought this carbon filtration unit from Amazon and <laughs> I think I'm gonna need more than this. So what happens is the carbon's gonna be sitting at the bottom. I'm gonna have a wire mesh in between. So that's gonna be the filtration for the water. Then the sphagnum moss will be the, the actual soil and a bit of gravel and the actual tree and rocks. I actually picked up a couple of props today. Still quite a bit of uh, uh, materials I need, but as far as the unit is concerned, it's all here. <clears throat> uh, let's talk about these panels here. <coughs> I got this uh, ongoing cough, so you'll have to excuse me guys. <clears throat> doesn't seem to go away. I've been coughing for the last three days. But anyway, uh, this is how it works. So this panel here, you have, it's made out of metal. I, I selected the black one. It doesn't have any latches or anything like that. So it's quite loose. So as you can see there, it's, uh, it just kind of rotates. Uh, and it's got a hinge on it. So if you look at it, it holds on to the glass. <clears throat> now, what you need to do next is you put this on top. This kind of sits on top there. I think I, oh crap, I think I put it on backwards. Yeah, I think it's, it's on backwards. One of them is supposed to be at the bottom. And I can't figure out which one. No, this one's supposed to be, yeah, no, this one's supposed to be there. And this one is supposed to be at the top. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now, <coughs> this is what's gonna hold it. Now the light unit just kind of sits right on top like that. And what you could do is you can rotate this panel to give it a little ventilation. Okay? Now the light, again, the lighting I have is set up this way, so it's right at the top there and it bleeds right at the bottom. And it's a USB-C plug, believe it or not. And to test the lighting, guys, check this out. It's quite bright. And so as you can see there, little click and you get the light really, really bright. Now, it's at its brightest setting right now, guys. I don't think you need to have it that bright, but I'd say this bright. Yeah, that's about right. Now, the cool thing about this light too is it's got a color temperature gauge. So right over there, you get the color temperature, 
So right now I have it on warm. If I go here, as you can see, it's cooling down. It's more blue. It's got a Calvin scale, a lot more warmer and cooler. And a neat little addition there. But that's what the, the two knobs are for, guys. So in time, as I gather, gather all the, the materials, I'll be constructing the terrarium piece by piece. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, time lapse. I'll start a time lapse from when I begin from the bottom up. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So for the time being, here's an up close review of the moss light.